You know what time it is, guys. That's right. It's time for another Dolphin Zone episode. Stay tuned. Time for Dolphin's News Alert with your host, Marcus. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Dolphin Zone. And I have got a breaking news alert. The... Miami Dolphins guys have hired Vic Fangio as the new defensive coordinator according to ESPN's Tom Pelissero. I th actually no, I think he's NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. But anyways, according to Tom Pelissero, he first reported the news that the Dolphins will be hiring Vic Fangio. And uh, we all hope that uh, we all know what that means. That means that we are going to be having uh, a coach that can come in and help mentor Mike McDaniel because Vic Fangio is a former head coach. Um, and not only that, but um, Vic Fangio can help turn this defense around. That was just subpar at times. It really was subpar at times. And um, it just, um, it's mind blowing, really. Um, it's, it's, it really is mind-blowing when you think about it. But, um, you know, getting the guy that we need for this team to be successful is always a good thing. And I think for us as a football team is it's going to allow us to do better. Um, if you're excited for this hire, uh, I want you guys to put Vic down in the comment section below with your letter grade on how you will grade this hire. Okay. Now, in addition to announcing this coaching news, I do want to throw this out here because, and I'm only saying this, only because this was announced earlier today. The Dallas Cowboys fired offensive coordinator Kellen Moore. And a thought occurred to me. You know, why doesn't Mike McDaniel bring him in? No disrespect to Frank Smith. Frank Smith did a really good job, but I have my reason behind this. You make Daryl Bevel the offensive coordinator. Okay? Daryl Bevel worked with Tua's development, and he's a really, really good guy. You bring in Kellen Moore, who's worked with Cooper Rush, Dak Prescott, was able to get a lot of running yards out of Tony Pollard and Ezekiel and Dallas doesn't necessarily have the best offensive line but it isn't the worst so just think about just think about this for a second just think about having three offensive masterminds on 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 on, on the same coaching staff they can consult with one another and they can put together a very unstoppable offense. That's something to consider. I'm not saying that's something that we need to do. I'm not saying that that's something that's going to happen. I'm just saying I think that'd be pretty cool if Miami were to add Kellen Moore. Although we really don't need to. But, you know, I just thought I'd add that bit for, you know, for the fun of it. You know, and I don't know if you saw, but in the intro to this video, sorry about that. In the intro to this video, I uh, showed you my Miami Dolphins helmet. Um, my Miami Dolphins helmet is was a gift to me from my teacher. I treasure it. It's really, really awesome. And uh, one of these days, I plan to hopefully have somebody autograph it for me. So... Um, fun fact, but when I played high school football in my hometown of Newton, Iowa, um, the head football coach that I played for under the time, uh, 
uh, his nephew was married to the sister of former Dolphins punter Matt Hawk. And back when Matt Hawk was still the punter for the Dolphins, I thought to myself, man, maybe I can get some Dolphins stuff from him. Well, he was going to ask for Matt, Matt Hawk for me, but he didn't get around to it. He forgot. But isn't that cool, guys? One of my football coaches personally knew former Dolphins punter Matt Hawk. Just thought I'd throw that little tidbit out here, too. But, you know, being a Dolphins fan is really, really amazing. And the other thing that I like about it is the fact that I can come on here and onto YouTube and share my love for the Dolphins with you guys. Um, you know, and it's it's really, really um, uh, interesting uh, thing. So one more thing I want to talk about is for those who did not see... Um, the Super Bowl has been set as the Philadelphia Eagles beat the 49ers 31 to 7. So the Eagles will represent the NFC. And I watched that game. And let me tell you, in my honest opinion, Philadelphia cheap shot at a lot of the 49ers players. It was a really ugly game. And I do not like Philadelphia because they. They get cocky and they think that they're better than everybody else. So that's all I'm gonna leave. That's all I'm gonna say on that subject. If you want me to rant about the Eagles, I can make a whole separate video about that if you want me to. But for now, I'm not going to. And representing the AFC will be the Kansas City Chiefs, who won 23-20. Although in that game there were some controversial calls to say the least, um, but nonetheless the um, Chiefs were able to win that football game, um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was an interest, it was a fun day for football, so Kansas City will play the Eagles in the Super Bowl, and I'm going to be rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, so, so yeah, um, I just, uh, wanted to throw that out there, that, um, since this is a news feed and I only had one thing on the Dolphins to report today. Oh, another thing too, I read another, another article, the Dolphins have confirmed that they are not, and I repeat, they are not signing Tom Brady, nor do they have any desire to. So all this Tom Brady stuff can finally be, be put to rest. Okay, guys? So. You know... Watching how this season unfolded for me gave me optimism for the future for this Dolphins team. I see a lot of similarities between Mike McDaniel and Don Shula in terms of what his vision is for the football team. You know, here's Don Shula, somebody who not a lot of people were 100% sold on. He struggled as the head coach for the Colts. And then left the Colts to become the head coach of the Dolphins. You know, not a lot of people thought he was going to do much with the Dolphins. And look what he did. Led the, the Dolphins to the only undefeated season in NFL history and win the Super Bowl. So that takes a lot of grit. It takes a lot of encouragement. And it takes a lot of determination to lead a squad like that. And the reason why I say I think Mike McDaniel has some similarities to Don Shula is Mike McDaniel has a lot of grit and a lot of swagger. And in addition to that swagger, he's got a lot of uh, uh, he's got a lot of belief in his players. 
And it doesn't matter if his starters are healthy or not. He has his players ready each and every single game. And I'm going to be honest with you. With the, with the exception of our loss to the 49ers, Miami played pretty competitive football all year round. And we were in a lot of games, a lot of close games. That five-game losing streak was a little hard. But, but to our defense, uh, during that losing streak, um, you know, we should have beaten Green Bay. But that's a whole other can of worms. And I don't want to touch that right now. But anyways, so... That concludes my news report for you guys today. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Otherwise, if you're returning, please like the video and watch some more videos. Okay, guys? This has been The Dolphin Zone. Brought to you by Marcus. See you guys. Thank you for watching this Dolphins Alert video. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel for more great content. Have a great day, everyone.